What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos you want me to talk about tomorrow? Markiplier needs our help in this huge new announcement that he's just made. Believe it or not, somebody made an entire anime only using AI. Apparently somebody in LA stole Ludwood's actual car. And breaking news, Pikami, the huge VTuber that went into silence after getting bullied off the internet for playing Hogwarts Legacy will be graduating as of this month. All that and more. So yeah, you guys know the drill. Sit back, relax, put your feet up, and yeah. Allow me to lay it on you. So let's start off fresh and talk about our boy Marky Moo, aka Markiplier. We've said Markiplier is officially making his own feature length movie. No cap, he is going to be the one creating everything from scratch. And he made a YouTube video saying, I need your help. Well, more specifically, it's called Need Some Help. Hello, it's going to be a busy month. Let me play a few seconds of the video in case you haven't seen it already. Hello. I'm in a new location, which means that it's time to start freaking out in earnest. So if you're not freaking out already, you better start freaking out because everything is new and everything is changing. <laughs> I'm about to start filming my movie. If you didn't know, I'm filming a movie. So you now know. I'm really, uh, I'm hitting the bottom of the barrel here. I'm calling in all the favors, every, every last reserve thing I've had. I need to know the name of every Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that I have not played yet. I need to know whatever is the most readily available uh, short horror game that you guys want. What is the most random internet experience? What is anything? There was never a time that I've enjoyed having game suggestions or video suggestions in live streams or videos or comments like that. I am opening the floodgates now. I don't know what it is about March, but every company in the entire world that I ever work with was like, yeah, you need to do all of these things in March. And I'm like, but March is when I'm filming my movie. And they're like, my boy, you, you, you're just a YouTuber. You don't give yeah, it's going to be a little busy. I'm going to do my best to make regular content when I can, but don't expect anything of any high kind of quality. So basically, the TLDR is that Marky Moo is going to be working on a full featured movie, okay? At the same time, he's also going to be trying to upload videos regularly to this channel as well, since he doesn't want to not neglect it. So he needs everyone to send him like a whole bunch of like horror games that he can play. My guess is that he's just going to play all of them. <laughs> <laughs> record as much as possible and like queue it up so that he has like a huge backlog of videos that are available on his channel so that he can spend that time to actually be working on the movie. He's going to be so busy. So yeah, he needs everyone to just come in and just tell him what to play. But yeah, funny freeze frame aside, I'm so happy that it's like 2023 and we're still getting more Markiplier. I feel, I feel blessed. Okay. <laughs> not looking forward to the day where this guy actually stops making content because that would be terrible, but it's not going to be this year. Not today, Satan. All right, guys, this is absolutely huge breaking news when it comes to the VTuber world. Okay. If you don't know anything about the VTuber world, let me just let you know, like, this is like the, the big chunky wongy of it, like huge deal. Something that you actually want to sit through and listen to. Okay. Crescent said, Breaking news, Pikami is retiring from VTubing after the whole ordeal with everyone's favorite game, Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys don't know, this is VTuber Pikami. The last time we talked about her was when she was tweeting out the concept of wanting to play Hogwarts Legacy, the Harry Potter game, and then she got bullied off the internet, and then she just disappeared, just got vanished, just boom, Aveda Kedavra and just left and didn't say anything. She has finally returned to the internet only to announce that she is going to be graduating, which in VTuber terms means that she will be retiring and or quitting. She works for an agency called Bombs. Bombs usually owns like the assets of like her VTuber model, her content and everything. So basically after the end of this month, March 34th, the actual girl behind Pick Me herself will no longer be playing Pick Me. She will be gone. That's just how it works in the VTuber world. Hello, I am Pikami from the Bombs Project. Today I have a very important announcement for you guys. I am Amano Pikami. We'll end all activities at the end of this month, March 31st in Japan time. I have been able to enjoy my VTuber activities until today. Thanks to you guys a lot for giving me love and sweet words. And Bombs Project for supporting me. I am so sorry for shocking you guys like this. Despite all the sad things, I still have a month left. So I hope we can have a lot of fun time. Oh, she's so cute. Also, all content of memberships and video VODs already posted on the channel. 
will be deleted on March 31st after my final stream. Same as Twitter, the account will remain but no longer active. Thanks to you guys a lot for giving me love and sweet words. It was a short time, but that is all from this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next stream. So, bye bye. Bye bye. No! I know half of you guys are watching this being like, okay, I don't get it. Like, this is Gen Z, whatever. I don't really get it. I'm telling you, this is huge news. People are really sad. This must, we will miss you truly. This Batman, no, no, stay with me. Don't leave me. <laughs> These VTubers, guys, and a lot of content creators give a lot of their audience members that kind of like chill atmosphere place where they can just relax and enjoy people's content just watching, right? Like, it's like, she was a huge freaking big deal and to know that she's only been gone like a month left for some people it's like the equivalent of like markiplier like a markiplier said hey guys i'm going to be done after one month you know like <laughs> like that would be very depressing for some of you guys to hear that's how a lot of people feel about pick -A me the actual notice that came up from voms project the company that owns pick -A me said thank you for the continued support of the voms project we regret to inform you that amano pick -A me a member of our group will be graduated from the group and terminate her activities as march 20, 31st 2023 we have discussed this with pick -A me herself and in respect for wishes we have decided to graduate in a positive way now this is the part that people are trying to figure out is why why as of now some people are saying that she hasn't been making content recently so maybe there's something to go with that a lot of people feel like this has to do with hogwarts legacy and that whole situation that happened where basically she voiced the idea of, of playing the game but she didn't even get to the point of actually playing it because the, the internet was like nah don't go about it and she kind of left so no one knows the exact reason yet as to why she is graduating because this notice from bombs project does not specify it's just it's like one of those twitch things when it comes to like uh dr disrespect just just gone but we, we don't know why and since we don't know why the entire internet is basically jumping to the conclusion that it all has to do with the hogwarts legacy situation so yeah really 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 freaking sad news about picking me like i've watched her a few times and she's just a joy to watch it's a shame that it has to end this way i wish we had more information if we do get more information i'll let you guys know but yeah picking me is graduating we have one month to enjoy her company and her streams and her videos since she graduates but yeah let me know how you guys feel about picking me graduating do you think it has to do with the hogwarts legacy situation do you think it's anything else if I find any more information, I will let you know, but it sucks to see a legend basically being gone within the next 30 days. The countdown starts. So guys, AI strikes again. We got to watch this, okay? You have to watch this. I don't care if you don't watch anime or AI. I don't care if you don't care about this, okay? Because when you watch this, it will be very interesting because it was very interesting for me, so I know it will be interesting for you. King Sammy said, a lot of people are crapping on Corridor Digital because they made a short anime skip using AI. So someone has been able to create a full AI anime that <laughs> not just creating stuff in the background not just art not just a picture the little freaking animation was created by ai and uh, let's just play the clip right here one two two three three shoot what there's no way this is all Rock, paper, scissors, anime? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that entire 30 second clip, for that to be made by just AI, that's, 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 that's insane. That's, that's absolutely incredible. I, AI is literally gonna take over the world, okay? I'm, I'm just letting you guys know, okay? You guys don't even know it, but me, right now, this is AI Omni. I, I'm out somewhere in Japan just living my best life. This isn't even the real me right now. I'm sorry to tell you that, but hey, that's how far AI has gone. So yeah, Corridor Crew goes on to basically say this in their video as well. This is the, the lead up to the actual intro, but these guys, they have like 6 million like YouTube subscribers and they were talking about their whole thought process when it came to basically making anime only using AI. It's part of our humanity to try to visualize things that don't exist. Like let's talk about traditional 2D animation, cartoons. The most creatively liberated medium is also the least democratized. It takes incredibly skilled people drawing every single frame of your movie to make it happen. But I think we came up with a new way to animate, a way to turn reality into a cartoon. And it's one more step towards true creative freedom. 
where we can easily create anything we want. So yeah, basically in this 30 seconds, he basically summarized and said, we figured out a way to take out the middleman, AKA the skillful people who've created all the animation that you've seen over the arts, the humans, the graphic artists, the, the drawers, everybody, all of those people who are in charge of making actual art, we figured out a way to just skip them <laughs> and bypass them. We don't need people to draw anymore. We, 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 we've bypassed the medium of actually having humans do the actual drawing work because we can just do it with AI. And guys, Twitter is absolutely freaking up said this guy said thank you corridor crew for telling your six million subscribers the animation jobs can be replaceable by ai imagine if your job got taken away by an app that turns into the next vfx this person has said i have the unusual amount of content for anyone cheering for a bunch of people being automated out of their jobs but corridor crew doing it when they have a whole youtube channel devoted to talking shop with animators is incomprehensible and the last one i'll read is this one saying incredible how corridor crew went from cool vfx video to slapping on an ai filter and calling it anime so yeah that's kind of what i looked at it it looks really cool but it also looked like you know like on instagram or tiktok or any of those things where you just switch over to a filter and it can make you look like an anime person or it can make you look like something that's completely different that's what this looks like except for i guess that filter now is being called anime <laughs> or animation in this sense but guys despite the public outcry if you come to the actual channel cordu crew itself says did we just change animation forever it's got a hundred thousand likes only thirteen thousand dislikes you know like the hate that you see on twitter does not equivalent to the hate that you see on the actual channel and a lot of people are in support really like the idea or the concept of this video so a lot of mixed signals and a lot of mixed messages and a lot of mixed feelings in general in my opinion ai is a pretty interesting subject to talk about because like if you kind of just look at history uh, as we've evolved as human beings, a lot of the things that we did manually has basically become uh, automated, as you would say, uh, from where it is now. We're not manually counting things with stones. We have calculators and Excel sheets. We're not manually typing things with typewriters. You have speech to the everything like there are things that we've been doing there's assembly lines we figured out ways to make it so that humans don't actually have to do some of the manual labor anymore and it's evolving to the point where it's always been taking away people's jobs but now this one is targeting specifically artists which sucks because in my opinion these guys have been getting the shaft left and right for years and years they already get underpaid they already get undervalued and now the people are saying hey we can just skip you all together if you're in person and you're in drawing your art this i have to imagine if you're an animator this is very scary that you can spend years and years building a craft and someone can make something almost extremely replicable by basically stealing art that you might see online and then taking it all together and making this AI that can do it for you. It's, it's, it's pretty creepy. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this subject. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So Real Arrow 13 and a whole bunch of you guys asked me to talk about this really fast. Kai Sinat finally reached 300,000 subs on Twitch, which is absolutely freaking he's the number one most subscribed to twitch streamer in the entire world he dethroned both ninja and ludwig for their previous records i believe that ludwig's uh, record was at 269,000 when he was like at the biggest point of the time where fortnite was really really huge and also he uh beat uh subathon from ludwig as well L ludwig hit like 280,000 when he was doing his long 30 day uh subathon like a year and a half ago maybe two years now i don't remember but yes Kai Sinat has broken the record. He's over 300,000 at this point, and he did it on Black History Month. You love to see it happen. Some saying I did it, but we did it. We, 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 bro. 300,000. The final picture. This is the final picture for every chat. This is the final. Chat is the last picture. Chat, it's the final picture. <laughs> Chat, this is the final picture. Right here, right now, bro. Every time he hits a record, he, he does the picture. I said, bro, showing the... Uh... <laughs> On the last day of Black History Month at that, 300,000, bro. Nobody has ever done 300,000. And I'm so happy I did it with the people who supported the people around me, with the people with y'all. I'm so I could have never chose nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else to do this with. So yeah, congratulations to your boy Kai Sanat actually breaking the freaking history. It's it's huge. It's monumental. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually dope. Boy Ludwig, who got dethroned from having the number one spot to now number two, saying congrats to Kai Sinat for breaking the all-time subscriber record. Very deserved at Twitch. Now pay the man before you lose another record breaker. 
<laughs> I'm sure most of you guys understand the reference, but in case you don't, uh, Ludwig broke the record for Twitch subs for uh, basically his subathon, and then he left and went to YouTube because he did not feel appreciated or felt like he was being compensated fairly because, you know, Twitch takes like 50% of that revenue from the subs anyway. Also, Ninja had broken the record when he was playing Fortnite and then he left and went to go to, to Facebook gaming. So it was like every single time there was a record breaker in their platform that broke some kind of form of subs, they weren't getting compensated uh, fairly to them. And they was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna jump ship and go somewhere else. People might feel like Kai might jump over to kick dot com and be like hey all right if you guys don't take care of me now then i'm gonna go to kick over there with trains rex and aiden ross and them so we don't know if that's gonna happen yet but yeah however speaking of ludwig <laughs> <laughs> Seasonal Depressed Slut, one of my favorite usernames out there, by the way, said someone stole Ludwig's car that he got from Japan. And yeah, Ludwig had made a tweet saying that someone stole my dream car during the power outages in LA this week. And uh, yeah, I remember him making this tweet last year, said he finally got his dream car. Look at this guy looking super happy in his, his, his dream car. <laughs> Uh, not something that I would notice from a lot of people calling a dream car, but hell, that's it, that's Ludwig's, but somebody stole it! The title's not clickbait, I was robbed. And I don't mean it in a metaphorical sense, I don't mean like, moist moguls were robbed of a win, or my fashion sense has been robbed since the moment I started recording this video. I was literally stolen from, thieved, larcenied in the middle of the night. And what was stolen from me? My prized possession. <laughs> my 1997 imported from Japan Subaru Sambar. If you don't know, this is my dream car. It's a mini truck, a K truck, usually used for businessmen in Japan in the 80s and 90s. Kind of fell out of fashion, and I brought one over. It's beautiful. Drives on the other side uh, with the steering wheel, and honestly. Oh, now I recognize it. That's the car that I always be seeing in those old animes. <laughs> <laughs> that I recognize with that. I was like, I recognize this truck. Why do I recognize it? It's from, it's, it's, it's okay. Now I know. I just think it looks super cute, but somebody stole it from me. How? Well, I'll give you a little bit of context. When I got the car, one of the first things that happened is that the tire popped. Just coincidentally, it's a 25 year old car. The tire didn't hold up. So I changed it for the spare tire, but that's also a 25 year old tire. All the tires kind of needed to be changed. Yeah, 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 but yeah. It's yeah, a little yeah. bit harder to find somebody in LA in 2022 or 2023 to fix tires for a 25 year old imported car. So it took a little bit. I kind of parked it at our warehouse, just waiting to find somebody with no real urgency because I still have my Vespa and I still have my purple Volkswagen that you might've seen in the video when I switched to YouTube. The only issue is that because they helped Aiden open the gate, the gate stayed open. Dang. And through this rainstorm, a thief in the night came to our warehouse, went into my car, somehow jacked it. I don't know how. I don't think there's a spare key that was left in there. Maybe it was. And disappeared from the crime scene. I don't know if they towed it. I don't know if they <laughs> hot wired it. Is that a real thing? I see it in movies, but I don't know. Can you can you do that? I don't know. <laughs> so guys, Ludwig's car has been stolen in LA, but there was a freaking update. He actually tweeted this and said someone found the actual car, but then it was moved before we could place an air tag. Last seen around this area in LA. If y'all have any eyes, keep your eyes peeled. So now whoever stole this car, right, from Ludwig is about to become LA's most wanted. Cause you know that going well. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna be looking around. You can't hide that. It's gonna be the only kind of car of its kind. It'll literally stand out like a swordfish. So now if you stole that car, right, you're gonna have to hide it somewhere and never bring it to the day of light. Cause if you just bring it out for a few seconds, one of uh, freaking Ludwig's fans is gonna be like, ha, found you, gotcha. And <laughs> <laughs> and snag you. So yeah, that's Ludwig getting his car stolen. He is currently on the hunt for his baby. <laughs> and why do I feel like he's actually going to find this car and it's going to turn into some actual genuine YouTube content? Whatever happens to this man's life, like if it's good, bad, or whatever, he will turn it into content for people to consume because that's just what Ludwig does. But all right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. We'll be covering the rest of the subjects this evening, around probably like 5 or 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern on Omni After Dark on Twitch. So come through, okay? Because we can't fit every single single subject into one video we'll have multiple and then it goes up to the second channel i love you guys i'll catch you guys later and i'll probably see you for a video tomorrow uh happy march 1st and uh yeah i will yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna leave now because i'm rambling all right bye